guys and gals welcome back to doing redneck things off grid I was going to do a video on our uh, what we accomplished yesterday on the solar array but I forgot today is Tuesday and it's I have questions day so I'm going to after I'm done with this and get this uploading onto the YouTube I'm going to go, we're going to go out and work on the uh, solar array some more we got quite a bit done yesterday but I'm gonna save it for the video so anyway I got some pretty good ones this week I got one from uh, Kevin Gaston senior from G bear and uh, the rest are mine this time so this is uh, pretty pretty cool this is stuff that happened over the week that's uh, some of it's pretty crazy and some of it's uh, one of them I've covered before but uh, I'm gonna do it again because it's just that stupid <laughs> so so here we go episode 82 of I have questions okay number one so apparently Captain Crazy is threatened by washing machines and dishwashers now added to his list of gas stoves and gas furnaces and gas dryers and he was trying to ban washing machines and dishwashers but thankfully the goober squad blocked him <laughs> blocked him from from banning them so it's like you're gonna ban all of this stuff and that's gonna put a tremendous tremendous load on the power grid cuz we all know uh, gas stove uh, propane stoves, gas stoves, gas water heaters are way more efficient than electricity. It doesn't spin your meter. So that, it, to me, it's, it's just silly, you know. It's like, oh, we, we got to ban washing machines and dishwashers now. You know, thank God somebody in the Goober Squad's got a brain left. <laughs> so what the hell. So that is number one, banning wash machines and dishwashers. I don't know what he's thinking. So anyway, number two. So I, I covered this once before, and and, and now they're they're gonna they're, they're gonna do it again. So here we go, number two. So one of the TV channels is going to interview a murderer to get their side of the story. You know, wow. You know, they're they're glorifying murderers is a big story now you know by my book it should be in the ground they should be in the ground you know you you prove beyond a reasonable doubt that they that they murdered somebody you know that that's that, that's what needs to happen there, there's no consequences for doing anything against the law anymore it seems like so you know it's like evidently so if you kill someone you get you get a big news reporter to in interview you now you know, it was like, yeah, I remember when they interviewed Charles Manson, you know, he had a, ta a swastika tattooed on his forehead for the interview, you know, it was like, these people are murderers, they're, not, they're beyond citizens, and they need to be, they need to be taken out, you know, quit building new jails, get, Hang them, electrocute them, lethal injection, whatever that that, it, that needs to be done. Because you know we get, we just keep getting these big, bigger and bigger prisons, and the the criminals are worse and worse, and they get three hots and a cot, and health care and uh, education and all that stuff. Uh, when you're a murderer, you're a murderer. You should not be on this earth anymore. That's my opinion. So that is number two. Number three is a statement. Where did the statement, one ah shit ruins all the attaboys come from? I know where it come from, but this is a good one for G Bear likes to to come up with answers and Ian, Ian Y Gate likes to come up with answers and other people have been coming up with good, good, <coughs> excuse me, good answers. One ah uh, shit ruins all the attaboys. I want to know. Okay, number four 
is from Kevin Gaston Sr. Uh, I'll probably put a link to his channel in the in the description and he wants to know if thermo if thermology is the study of heat thermology study the study of heat why do we say thermometer and not thermometer it's a good point thermometer thermometer so if you're checking the heat of something you would use a thermometer correct I mean I'm not science guy but pretty <laughs> that's a pretty good question thermometer or thermometer what do you guys think I want to know number five is from G Berry's uh, he comes up with some good ones he see he wants to know why do we say uh, I added G Bear I added some things to this why do we say birdie horsey piggy and doggy and kitty but we never say cow cowie but of course I can't leave it at just cowie why not goosey moosey deary <laughs> goosey moosey deary or, or yeah or squirrely or you know groundhogger groundhoggy you know is it that why why is it we say birdie horsey piggy doggy and kitty but never say cowie goosey moosey or deary that sounds like a country song or something there I don't know so <laughs> oh my god here goosey goosey <laughs> I, I want to know so number six is from oh Peggy and Andy the Page Family Homestead uh, Leanne actually got this off of their Facebook page because I haven't seen much of them on YouTube lately but Leanne talks to them on Facebook every once in a while and she wants to know Peggy wants to know why do you squeeze your butt cheeks together when you brush your teeth never thought about it don't think don't think that you do pay attention next time you brush your teeth and I bet you crunch your butt cheeks out <laughs> that is too funny <laughs> But that is from the Page Family Homestead off of, off of the Facebook. <laughs> Thanks, Peggy and Andy. That that is too awesome. So number seven. So that cute doctor lady back is back with the smelly butt crack cure, and she's at it again. Now she has a product for for men to cure stinky pits, butt crack stink private stink and feet stink that's unbelievable it's uh, I guess uh, there's there there's a stink curve for that too after 12 hours your butt crack smells a 5 out of 10 privates 5 out of 10 your feet 5 out of 10 but your armpits is a 8 out of 10 stink factor so <laughs> So she's got a product now to cure for men, for you guys out there. Check it out. I, th I, I just love this lady. She's just so full of energy and she's really doing well with her product. She's just fun. She's, it, 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 it's a good product, but it's still kind of funny, you know. It's like, because she's a doctor. She talks like a doctor. It's like butt crack under boobs, you know. Uh, Thigh folds. I never knew there was a thing called thigh folds. Under boobs. You know, it's like all that. Your stinky feet. I don't know, it's, it's just hilarious. So that is number seven. <coughs> number eight. So if you fly into, into the state west of us to be on the prices right. So you you're flying in there and you're you get you're you're in the crowd in the crowd as a uh, 
possible contestant and you get called up and you get on stage you guess the right price and you get on stage so now now you win a new kitchen a new kitchen stove a fridge and a dishwasher while you while you're on on there so what I want to know is do you have to take them home with you on the plane good question do you so if you you know even even a car or or a motorcycle or something do you have to take that home with you on the plane cuz do you go out back in the warehouse and uh, they sign the title over to you for all the stuff you won and now you got to take it on the plane with you to go home i want to know i want to know <laughs> good question i mean, do what do you got to do to get your stuff home if you flew in flew into the state next door how do you get your prizes home so that is number eight number nine why is it when we were kids and our parents finally let us sit where we wanted to in church you know it was like okay kids you guys you know uh, don't want to be embarrassed sitting with your parents so go ahead and sit where you want to in church so we me and my sister when we were younger decided we wanted to sit in the front pew which is cool you're up up front and you get to watch the priest do all this stuff but why is it that when you're on your own and your parents aren't by you do you suddenly get the giggles in church in the front pew you got the giggles about everything that the priest says or does you 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 get the giggles i mean it's it was just hilarious i remember this so well me and my sister sitting in the front row of the church and giggling over everything you know it was like yeah we got a good scolding from from the priest and the parents after church but why would why would what would give you the I don't remember what gave us the giggles everything that the priest said or did gave us the giggles and we were just sitting there giggling so I want to know what gives you the giggles when you're in when you're in church okay so that is number nine and that is gonna do it for episode 82 of I have questions thanks everybody for your support and uh, it, it, this has been so much fun and I love when people send send questions in that they want to know answers for so thanks everybody for watching support your troops get out and vote get out and meet your YouTube friends God bless everybody and we will see you on the next one. Oh, next video is going to be about the solar array what we've got completed on it and that'll probably be tomorrow. All right everybody, God bless everybody. We'll talk to you later.